hopefuls and this video is long overdue i know some of you guys have requested it a while back and i this was the perfect time because i was asked to help out with a wedding at the very last minute guys the wedding is august the 12th so i literally had two and a half weeks to get this done this first video will be the bridesmaid flowers and i will share how i did that with a particular technique and then in another video, I will show the original method or technique that I created the flowers last year because I still owe that to you guys. So let's get started with this video. The theme of their wedding is rustic and also there are non-bridesmaids and groomsmen. And so I wanted to start with the bridesmaids and knock those out. So the material you would need, these flowers came from Amazon. They were already purchased for me and I was just given all the flower and greenery materials. And I'm just gonna show you, I had to do it a certain way. So the ribbon that I picked up is from Walmart and I'm gonna show you the front and the back, the UPC code, the brand, so if you wanna find it. And I also picked up like the satin ribbon here that I'm going to use on the bride's bouquet. And here's the UPC number and it's 18 feet. So it's some product on there. I did have to go back and get a second roll and the lace ribbon here is from Dollar Tree. I picked up a while back and I just love when I have stuff on hand that I can use myself because we were on a budget. You would need some mini glue sticks, some wire cutters or pliers, and a pool noodle. So this pool noodle my kids already had. It actually probably was from Walmart, not Dollar Tree, but you can use any pool noodle. I also need some ribbon, and I first started with this wide ribbon I will show later, but it's the same material or same type of ribbon as this. It's one and a half inches but it works better if I use this smaller ribbon, but you can pick up both. Also the baby's breath, um, she gave me two or three of these. Here's the UPC number, it's from AC Moore. If you want to look for that. And then also this greenery here, I'm not sure the name of it. It didn't have the name listed on there. I had two bushels of this and here is the UPC number for this greenery and it's also from AC Moore. She wanted more of a cacti um, rustic mixed with her flowers, which I think is really pretty. Also, you will need a razor blade or a box cutter. The reason why I had to use a pool noodle to hold the flowers is because you see that they have really thin wires. And again, I was given this and didn't order it myself. So I had to really think out of the box and I'm glad I came up with this because I was like, how am I going to do this? But I had to figure it out and it worked out great. And I love these flowers. They're really pretty. They look lifelike they're easy to work with and if i have to order some and use some myself then i will um use these in the future so here on the pool noodle i'm cutting down about maybe down to six inches and i'm trying to figure out because i'm left-handed and the tripod's in the way to cut this noodle and it was really easy. I ended up using my boys pool noodle because again, we was on a budget and I wanted to get started that night. Um, and they have more and I'll just catch some on clearance form. <laughs> so I'm gonna break this in half, break this off, put that to the side. I'm sure Josiah will come and grab it. And then I'm gonna cut this in half again with the razor blade. Now I'm gonna cut this noodle in half on both ends. Once 
I cut the noodle in half, I'm going to cut it in thirds. And if you get the pool noodle from Dollar Tree, it may not be as wide, so it may only cut it, once you cut it in half, maybe only cut it in half again. Now, once you have your pieces, you may want to go back with some scissors and kind of round them off. I didn't perfectly do this, but um, especially your ends, you want those to be a little bit smooth and straight. And then the one towards the end that I will be using the ribbon and not putting the flowers, I wanted those to be more beveled. And then the one at the top here, I wanted it to be flat where I'm going to put the flowers. So I'm just showing where it's flat and where the one of the ends are more wider than the other. And I'm just trying to cut some of these raggedy edges off and smooth them out. And you probably can use your razor blade too and make it more smoother, but it was fine for me. Now I'm just going to take my roses and for each bouquet I did about seven roses. And I'm just straightening them out. And then I'm going to take my razor blade, I'm sorry, my pliers or either my wire cutters. And I'm going to go back, go down at least about three inches and clip it off. Then I'm going to take my wider flat side and start with one rose right in the middle to get started. and leave about an inch out. And then I'm gonna work around it. And this part is super easy to do. You may have a couple of tries where the wire may want to come out one of the sides, but just take it out, try again. If it still looks like it doesn't wanna fit down in there, a couple of them I just form them around the base of the pool noodle and once you wrap it with floor wire or hot glue it down and wrap it with fabric or ribbon, um, you can't even see it. Or you can't even tell that it's not down in a pool noodle. take my greenery and I've been working on this one already and this is what it looks like when I haven't been cutting on it and I think it's perfect um, this greenery I've been getting using the sections where it's like three pieces that will show around the bouquet down low up high and to the side if that even makes sense to you guys so, and I'm also going to add some, just a little bit of baby breath. So usually when I'm doing any type of floral arrangement, I try to use every little piece, every flower, and for the pieces that I don't use on, or the sprigs, I don't use on this, I will use on the boutonnieres or for the hostess flowers or for the parents. Here I'm using the bottom of the roses to wrap around the squirrel wire even though I have some but just because I just want to use every little piece now with the baby's breath I was doing the same thing like those little twigs I'm gonna say for the boutonnieres 
but I'm looking for more of a fuller branch um, at the top or sprig at the top. And I try to size them up. Of course, I don't want to use that huge section because I only have three of these. And I have a lot more flowers to do. So I just play around with it till I want to place it exactly where in the bouquet and then also the height that I want. And I also put the greenery on the side that is not as full so that it will balance out. And then I'm using the bottom of the extra roses stem to tie that together. Okay, now I'm showing the ribbon that I used originally. It's more wider from Walmart, but I end up picking up the thinner, not as wide ribbon. It's the same ribbon, it's just not as wide. And I can work with that so much better. Now you may want to pick up the wider one because you'll see here where I use that at the bottom of the pool noodle to cover the bottom of it up to get started. And what you're gonna do is just use some hot glue. You can do it directly on the ribbon or on the pool noodle itself. I do have some hot temperature, high temperature glue guns, but for this project, I just want to use my old one and it's low temp. And I just hold it in place. And then I'm gonna go back around the edges. Oh, are you gonna show it, Hope? There we go. Around the edges of it and you wanna hold it because with this material, it doesn't stick right away like some materials do. So if you see where I'm holding the edges once I glue the bottom and round them out as much as you can with your fingers. Hold that one side and then you're gonna do the other side. And then we're gonna start wrapping our ribbon around the base of the bouquet. And I'm just going back and reinforcing the greenery, adding some hot glue. And then I'm gonna start wrapping along the base of the pool noodle. And when you do this, you wanna make sure that your edges are tucked in. If you have to get something sharp and push them, push the ribbon in it, to make it look clean and neat. You also wanna work your ribbon up at an angle instead of just making it go straight horizontal. So let it go up at an angle. taking little small pieces and making sure all of the pool noodle is covered. I have one little section here and I cut the ribbon at a diagonal, just measuring it out. Forgot to show this at the beginning, but I also have this burlap ribbon on hand. It came from the Dollar Tree, and 
I think I picked up two extra the other day and this was right on time perfect so I'm going to use this around the base where they're going to hold the bouquet the only thing about this ribbon is that it comes loose really easily so what you're going to have to do is make sure that you trim the edges and you see that I've done here because it unravels really easily and then we're going to reinforce that with some hot glue So I cut too much here on it wasn't where I was thinking because I did this I don't know how many times before. And you also gonna have to trim it if it's coming loose like at the top of it, not just the width, but also the length of it as well. If it starts looking like it's frayed. So I'm taking my hot glue and on because it's the burlap mesh, um, it's really transparent. I don't want to put a ton of glue. That's one of my pet peeves is to see stringy glue or any glue on a DIY project. And you want to use your scissors to because it's hot. And I know I'm always burning myself. And then when you wrap it around, you just don't want to glue the end piece here that I'm cutting here. You want to glue, which I want to show in a minute, the length and the width. And you have to cut that because it'll just start coming apart. So just a little bit of glue on the length and the width and I was trying to work fast because that glue will dry fast but I should have moved my glue gun on the other side I'm just going to roll that And now I'm just going to use my ribbon from Dollar Tree, the lace ribbon, and take it around the edges to finish it up. From the top and the bottom. And don't be afraid to use your scissors to trim it up, to nip maybe some extra glue off, or just to clean it up. I always like for my fabric to meet and the same spot that I wasn't paying attention on this particular bouquet. And I'm going to finish it up. I have to look for some pearls I have somewhere around my house to finish it off along the length where they will hold a bouquet. So hopefuls, I hope you enjoyed this video. Don't forget to comment, like, and subscribe so that you won't miss out on any future videos. I will make sure I come back and share more with you with this process and also the other technique. And remember, there's always hope.